for today. This workout is going to be really different than my normal workouts because I was inspired by Friday's workout where we were doing downward facing dogs. So I haven't done yoga in so long. I thought it would be maybe not fun. I might regret it, but I thought it would be interesting to do something different today and try some sun salutations. So that's basically all I'm doing today is sun salutations. I'm also going to be jumping rope. So if you would like to join me, you're not going to need anything other than maybe a yoga mat or an exercise mat if you have one. It's not completely necessary to use a mat, but it will be more comfortable if you have something soft beneath you. If you want to join me for the jump rope sections, obviously grab your jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can eliminate the jump rope sections or you can do some other type of cardio. You can go for a jog or hop, top, hop on the elliptical, treadmill, exercise bike, something like that. If you have one, you can shadow box, jog in place, work on the heavy bag. Um, you can do up and down the steps. So any type of cardio exercise you want to do while on jumping rope is totally fine. But that's all we're doing today. So there are timestamps in the description box down below the video. So if you would like to skip over this short little tutorial and go straight to the workout, you can use the chapter markers to do that. If you want me to walk you through what I'm doing for my sun salutation before we begin, let me go ahead and show you that right now. It's getting really, really hot out here already. And I think this workout is going to take me a plus or minus an hour, I would say to budget. Uh, anywhere probably from 45 minutes to an hour if you're gonna, or uh, 45 minutes to 90 minutes, let's say, if you're going to do the whole thing with me. So obviously it depends on how quickly you move through your sun salutations, how quickly you um, get your jump rope sections done, and how much time it takes you in between sections. But I would say generally you'd want to budget about 15 minutes for each of our two sun salutation blocks and about 15 minutes for each of our jump rope sections. So that's 60 minutes. Again, if you're faster than I am, you might be finished in under an hour. If you're slower than I am, it will take you longer than an hour. And again, you do need to also budget a little bit of time in between those sections. But because I know I'm going to be out here for at least an hour, um, I wanna go ahead and get into this as quickly as I can because it is, really getting hot and it's only going to get hotter. So I am not a yoga instructor. Um, I, I realize that what I'm doing, what I'm calling a sun salutation is not textbook. So save the snark, please. You don't need to comment that, you know, that's not how you do a sun salutation. I am aware that what I'm doing is not textbook. It's closest to sun salutation A, but this is what I'm doing. So if you would prefer to do everything by the book, you can do a sun salutation whatever way you want you can do sun salutation a you can do whatever you want okay but this is what i'm doing um so i'm going to start towards the front of my mat and i am going to inhale my arms straight up and now i'm going to lift my chest so it's going to look like you're kind of arching backwards but you're not thinking of arching backwards you're thinking of lifting your chest up as i'm trying to reach my chest up and touch the ceiling with my chest, okay? So inhale the arms up, lift the chest as high as you can. And then I'm going to do a forward fold. What is that called? Uttanasana? Oh my God, it's been a minute since I did yoga, you guys. I used to take yoga classes, but I haven't for years and years and years. Okay, so forward fold. So on your way down, bend your knees. Make sure you have a soft bend to your knees if you're super duper flexible and you really don't need to, that's one thing. But the main thing is that you wanna to try to come down with a flat back. So for me, I'm gonna be bending my knees quite a bit. And then you're going to just fold forward. Okay, so my uh, the backs of my legs are pretty tight right now. So hopefully my forward fold will, um, my range of motion will increase as the workout progresses, but for these first few sun salutations, I'm not gonna have a great range of motion. So then from my forward fold, I'm going to come up halfway and just come up like to it with a straight back. Come up just enough so that your back is straight and you're kind of halfway up. Lift your chin, look to the wall in front of you, but um, don't hyper extend it. You're not looking up, you're just kind of lifting your head. Again, think of touching the wall in front of you with your forehead um, because you're just trying to elongate the spine. You don't want to be looking up like this and hyperextending your neck. Just 
lift up halfway. If you're able to keep your hands down on your toes, that's great. I'm gonna probably have my hands on my shins as I do this. Lift up halfway, flat back, and elongate that spine. Lift the head and try to touch the wall in front of you with your forehead and then back down into your forward fold. I wanna call this Uttanasana. Somebody tell me in the comments, is this Uttanasana? I don't know, I guess I could just Google it. All right, from here, I'm gonna put my hands down on the mat and I'm going to pick up one foot and step it back behind me so that I'm in a lunge. And then I'm going to step the other foot back so that I'm in a plank position. Hands underneath the shoulders, abs are engaged, hips are lifted high. Make sure you're not allowing your hips or your belly to drop down like this. Tighten up those abs, lift the hips high, and keep them high. Now I'm going to go into my upward facing dog. I know, I think traditionally with Sun Salutation A, you do cobra here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to come down onto my mat, onto my belly. Now watch my feet. See how my toes are curled under? I'm going to flip my feet so that the tops of my feet are now on the mat. And now I'm going to press my hands into the mat, keeping my shoulder, what are these, elbows <laughs> glued to my rib cage. And I'm going to press up into an upward facing dog. So again, it's that feeling of lifting your chest up to the ceiling, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Remember, you don't wanna have your shoulders hunched up like this, okay? You wanna always be thinking of elongating your whole body, elongating your spine through the top of your head, elongating through the tips of your toes, okay? That's what this is about, about lengthening the body. So from my upward facing dog, again, now watch my feet, the tops of my feet are on the mat, I'm going to curl the toes under, and then I'm going to press my hips up and back into my downward facing dog. Now in down dog, what you want to think about is trying to touch the tops of your thighs with your chest, okay? Your back needs to be flat, that's the most important part. If your legs, if your knees are bent, that's fine, that doesn't matter. If your heels are lifted up off the mat, that doesn't matter. If you're able to straighten your legs, great. If you're able to have your feet flat on the mat, great. But not at the expense of your flat back. Really, what you want to think of is, so if, you, if you've ever done yoga and you've done these cat cows, where you hollow out your body and pull your hips towards your chest this way, then you do the opposite, right? You rotate your hips the other way. It's this is the position you want your hips in when you're doing your down dog, okay? So from here, it's about lifting your hips up to the sky as high as you can, and then pressing your palms into the mat. Pay special attention to this area between your thumb and your forefinger, but spread out those fingers and really press into the mat, press the mat away from you. Make sure that your hips are rotated like this, so that your hips are pointed towards the sky and maintain that as you push the hips up and back, trying to touch your um, thighs with your chest, okay? So that's your downward facing dog. Then from there, I'm going to lift one foot straight up behind me, and then I'm going to bring it forward in between my hands. Now. A lot of people struggle with this. You might find that you're only coming here. If that's happening, it's fine. Just kind of walk your foot forward. Don't worry too much about it. But one tip to kind of make that transition easier is to make sure, again, that you're hollowing out, keeping those hips lifted high, and as opposed to having your hips rota uh, rotated up, uh, this way, whatever. Okay, so go back to our cat cow. I'm using the wrong terminology because I'm trying to rush through this. So for this, you want to hollow out your body. So now you want to rotate your hips this way, pulling your belly button towards your chest as you do this movement. Because if you do that, that's going to allow you to have your knee higher and that's going to allow you to bring your foot farther forward in between your hands, okay? So now you're back here in your lunge position. You're just going to step this back foot forward again. 
your back down here and your um, forward fold. Again, we're gonna come up to a flat back, elongating that spine, trying to touch the wall in front of you with your forehead, back down to forward fold, and then inhale the, heart, the arms up, and hands to heart to finish, okay? So I'm calling that my sun salutation. It's not exactly sun salutation A, but it's close, all right? That's what I'm doing. So let me walk you through just one more, a little bit faster, so that you see the flow of it because we really do want this to flow. Okay, so start standing towards the front of your mat, Inhale the arms up, bend the knees, flat back as you forward fold. Now halfway up with a flat back, back down into your forward fold. Hands down on the mat, pick up one foot and step back. Pay attention to which foot you picked up and stepped behind you. Now step the other foot back. And now we're going to come down, flip the feet, flip the toes, press the mat away, upward facing dog. And now curl the toes under, push the hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can hold here for a few breaths. Now lift up one foot, bring the knee forward, set the foot down so that you're in your lunge position again. Step the other foot forward, forward fold. Halfway up, flat back, forward fold. Inhale the arms up, exhale, hands to heart. Now, I'm going to do 15 of those. I am not alternating legs. So that's why I said pay attention to which leg you're stepping back with. This leg is in, is behind me, this leg is forward, okay? Then, after I do my downward facing dog, I'm initiating the movement with the opposite leg, but it means that I'm in the same position. So the same leg is behind me, the same leg is forward, okay? I'm going to do each sun salutation that way for the first set of sun salutations. The next time, we're going to repeat that, we're going to do sun salutations twice. So the next time through, I'm going to do another 15 sun salutations and I'm going to initiate the movement on the opposite leg, okay? Because I'm going to do, be doing a grand total of 30 of these on the day. So the first 15, I'm gonna be on one leg. The second 15, I'm gonna be on the other leg. If you prefer to alternate legs, just make sure that you end up even on each side. You wanna end up doing an even number of these on the day. So I'm going to be doing sun salutations and then jump rope, and then I'm going to repeat that. So if you're not repeating it with me, then instead of doing 15 sun salutations, you should probably do 16 or even 20, any even number alternating legs so that you end up doing an even amount on each leg, okay? So whatever works for you, but that's the way I'm going to be doing it. So other than that, the only other thing I'm doing is jump rope. So I always just kind of jog in place like this while I'm jumping rope, but any style of jump rope you want to do is fine. So if you are more comfortable jumping with your feet together, jump with your feet together. If you're really good at jump rope, then obviously you can feel free to do something more challenging like jump rope jacks or high knees, whatever works for you. Any style of jump rope is fine. The only important thing is that we are counting revolutions of the rope. We're doing sets of 100. So a set of 100 means you're counting 100 revolutions of the jump rope, and we're gonna do that 15 times. So it's gonna be a blast in this heat. I'm gonna be dripping sweat. This is going to be kind of brutal, but um, I think it'll be a great workout. So um, that's all we're doing, sun salutations and jump rope. 15 sun salutations, and then I'm going to have to put on <laughs> some shoes because I don't want to jump rope barefoot. Um, I don't know, I just don't want to jump rope barefoot. Uh, you can if you want, I guess. But um, then I'm going to do my 15 sets of 100 with my jump rope, and then I'm just gonna repeat that whole thing once more. So I'll take off my shoes, 
do another, uh, I could do sun salutations with shoes on, but I don't know, I just, it doesn't feel right. I've never done a yoga class with shoes on. It feels weird doing sun salutations, not barefoot, right? If anything, you wear those little yoga socks that keep you from slipping on the mat when your feet get all sweaty. Um, that was always my issue in yoga class. My hands would get all sweaty during my down dog and they would be like sliding across the mat. So I always considered getting those like little yoga socks and yoga gloves, but I never did. Anyway, what am I talking about? Okay, so 15 sun salutations, 15 sets of 100 with the jump rope, and then I'm gonna repeat the whole thing. I'm gonna, going to do another 15 sun salutations, um, barefoot, <laughs> on the other leg, and then I'm gonna put my shoes back on and finish up with 15 sets of 100 with the jump rope, and that's it, that's the workout. So now you know what we're doing. Remember that I also always take the time to type out the instructions in the description box down below the video. And you're gonna watch me do it right now. So watch me do it, read the instructions. But then of course, as always, if anything is unclear about the format, how everything fits together, um, how you can customize the workout to make it longer or shorter depending on your time constraints or just your fitness level for whatever reason, I'm here to answer questions. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or if you need help. If you have specific questions about how to do the sun salutations correctly, um, you guys, I did my best to really walk you through what I'm doing and I did my best to hit all of the important points and explain and demonstrate how to do the sun salutation correctly. But again, I am not a yoga instructor, so I don't wanna present myself as something that I'm not, and I don't want to answer questions about yoga when I have not received that sort of training and I don't feel like an authority in that area. I'm just out here kind of playing around and doing a little yoga today. I'm sharing my workout with you. You are invited to join me. If you have questions or if you need help, I am right here to help. So don't hesitate to reach out and ask questions if you have them. But if there are specific questions about the sun salutations, um, I may or may not be qualified to answer them. So you can always use Google. You can look on YouTube. You can go to a yoga class and ask an actual yoga instructor. Um, I recommend that. But if you've done yoga before and you're familiar with how to do sun salutations, then this should all be pretty easy to you. And again, if you do your sun salutations differently than what I'm doing, go for it. It's your workout, so you do what works for you. But if you are ready to go ahead and start this workout, definitely grab an exercise mat or a yoga mat if you have one. Um, if you're jumping rope with me today, grab your jump rope and maybe um, a pair of shoes, socks and shoes, if you need them for the cardio sections. If you're working out in 100 degree heat, like I am, uh, grab some water or sports drink, a towel, so that you can towel off. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up. And when you're ready, let's get started. All right, as soon as you're ready, here we go. 15 sun salutations. So start towards one end of your mat, inhale the arms up, and now flat back, bend the knees, forward fold. Halfway up, flat back, forward fold. Hands come down, step your foot back into the lunge, feel the stretch in that hip flexor, step the other foot back. Flip onto the tops of your feet as you come down to the mat and press up into your upward facing dog. Curl the toes under, push the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. You can stay here for up to five breaths. One foot up, step it forward, back into your lunge, step the other foot forward, forward fold. Flat back, elongate that spine, try to touch the wall in front of you with your forehead. Forward fold, inhale the arms up, exhale hands to heart. That's one. I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit, see if we can get it to flow a little better. We're gonna do 14 more of those, okay? So, staying on the same leg the whole time.
So that's two for me, but whatever pace feels natural for you. I might start to pick up the pace a little bit, but I'm not going to rush through it.
right, that was at least 15. It might have been 16, I'm not sure. <laughs> I always lose track at some point, but whew. Sun salutations are always, I remember doing them in yoga class a um, hundred years ago when I actually took yoga classes regularly and oh, they just get my heart rate up. And um, I just think it is such a uniquely intense uh, little workout doing sun salutations. Um, I took those ones kind of slow. Um, that already took me like almost 18 minutes. So, um, like I said, you want to budget about plus or minus 15 minutes for each one of these sections. Maybe I can uh, make up a little bit of time during my jump rope sections, but it's not likely because I've been struggling so much with my jump rope lately and it's so hot up here. So I'll do my best, but um, the next time through the sun salutations, I might feel like going a little faster. Uh, I just kind of don't think about my pacing very much. I go with whatever I'm feeling that day. So sometimes I go through them a lot more at like a brisk pace and other times I really take my time with them like I did today. So go at whatever pace feels natural to you. Um, it depends on what you're looking to get out of. If you're looking to get your heart rate up or work up a sweat or if you're looking to like spend some time in stretching. Uh, so, you know, just go at your own pace. But that's section one. So now I have to move my yoga mat out of the way. And I have to grab my jump rope mat and put on some shoes. There's no reason, I guess, that I can't jump rope barefoot. It just doesn't feel right to me. So I am opting for shoes. I have my little no-show socks because I'm old. You guys, I have mixed feelings about this whole crew sock thing. Like I, I see it, I think it looks cute and everything, but when I'm working out, especially in the summer, I just don't like having more like material on me than necessary because you know, it's uncomfortable. It's hot out here and I'm sweating and um, having socks up to here just, I don't know, it feels weird. And I'm definitely, don't want to do it when I'm like hiking or something because like the sock tan I have is bad enough but I don't want a sock tan that starts here and be all tan and then from here down is like gleaming white I mean come on who wants that that's silliness so I don't know let me know your thoughts on the whole uh crew sock thing that like the kids are wearing now because I don't know if I'm on board it does look cute though, I'm not gonna lie. It looks cute, but maybe if I worked out like in a gym where there was like, it was air conditioned and I wasn't getting sun on my skin and like making a weird tan, I could get into it, but I'm not working out here in 100 degree heat and not hiking and uh, getting sun from here on my leg up and nothing from here down. We're not about that. All right, so now, Plus or minus about 15 minutes or so of moderate paced cardio. I'm going to be doing 10 sets or 15 sets of 100 with my jump rope. So it's gonna be fun. Um, if you're jumping rope with me, uh, any style of jump rope you want to do is fine. We're counting 100 revolutions of the rope. That's one set of 100. We're going to do that 15 times. If you don't have a jump rope, but you do want to include cardio, you can do about 15 minutes of any kind of cardio exercise you want. So when you're ready, we're counting 100 revolutions of the jump rope. So you'll count like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
our first set of 100. And just mark a little slash on my piece of paper so that I don't lose track of how many sets I've done. I'm going to try to keep the rest breaks in between sets as short as I can. So I'm gonna zip it so that I can conserve some energy. Go at your own pace and do your best. If sets of 100 are too difficult for you, you can do sets of 50 or 20. If 15 total sets is too many, you can do five or 10 or 12. Do whatever works for you, okay? I am going to repeat that another 14 times and then we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the whole thing once more, okay? Another 15 sun salutations and then another uh, 15 sets of 100 with the jump rope. So, one down, 14 to go. Here we go when you're ready. Set number two. Before I continue, I do also want to mention that if you trip over your jump rope, it's fine. You do not have to restart your set. You don't have to go back and start the whole set over. If you trip on rep 50, just pick up your count at 50, do another 50 revolutions with the rope, and that's your set of 100, okay? I would be out here all day and all night if I started over. <laughs> every time I tripped over my jump rope. So if you trip, just leave it behind you as best you can. Take a couple of deep breaths and get right back into it. Just pick up your count where you left off, all right? All right, set number three.
to do five more. It's just so hot out here. I'm struggling so much. So I'm giving myself a good minute or so to rest and breathe. Before I tackle these last five sets. All right, when you're ready, set number 11. Just two more sets. I am going to start that set over because I didn't even complete 20 revolutions of the rope. Just gonna give myself a few more seconds to rest because I would like to get through this next set at least unbroken and the last two sets unbroken if I can. So. So this is set number 14, I'm starting it over.
This is such a slog for me in this heat. But I just have one set left to go. Let's push. Final set of 100 when you're ready. section done. Good job. I know 15 sets in a row is tough. Again, especially if you're working out in the heat like I am. But we got it done. So now we are officially halfway through with the whole workout, taking off my shoes. For my next round of sun salutations. So while I'm taking a minute, Kind of rearrange everything. You can towel off, hydrate, eat a half a banana, or just rest. You can lie in Shavasana. Is that corpse pose, right? Shavasana. Or you can rest in child's pose for a couple of minutes. Or you can just walk around, shake it off, whatever you need to do. So we're going to repeat that entire thing once more, just to make sure that you're using the opposite leg for your sun salutations. So the first time through the sun salutations, every time I was in this lunge position, this foot was forward and this foot was behind me. So I wanna make sure I'm reversing that this time. So what that means is that every time I step back into my lunge, I'm going to initiate with this foot. And then every time I come out of my downward facing dog, I'm going to kick this leg up behind me and bring this foot through back into my lunge position, okay? because we want to make sure that we do an even amount on both sides. I'm not timing this rest break. I'm assuming it's going to be four or five minutes somewhere in that neighborhood, but I'm not timing it. I'm just, like I said, I knew this workout was going to take plus or minus an hour. If you're flying through it, you could probably do it without sacrificing your form in 45 minutes. And if you're taking your time with it, like I am, maybe 90 minutes, but somewhere in that neighborhood. So I'm not rushing to like get a good time today. That's just, um, like I said, this workout's a bit different than my normal workouts. Usually I'm timing the workouts and trying to always beat my previous score and do the workout faster and faster and faster without sacrificing my form, but it's not where uh, my mind is today. Today, this is just about quality, making sure that I'm really focusing on breathing through these poses, focusing on my flow, 
focusing on my proper form. And um, I'm just going, like I said, I'm going at whatever pace is just feeling natural to me. I'm not rushing, but I'm also not making a point to go, I'm not making a point to go fast or slow. I'm just going at the pace that's feeling natural for me and what my body wants to do right now. So you should be going at your own pace. If you need more time to towel off, if you are dripping with sweat like I am, if you need some more time for your breathing and your heart rate to regulate a little more, if you need to hydrate some more, you can pause the video and come back when you're ready. I'm going to go ahead and get started on my second set of 15 sun salutations. Oh my gosh, this sweat is just dripping everywhere. All right. Just taking a minute before I actually begin the movement to feel, feel my body, feel my feet on the mat, find my center, Check in, making sure my shoulders are down away from my ears. Making sure I'm not locking out my knees. And when you feel that you're ready to move, you can go ahead and take your first inhale up. Exhale into your forward fold. Elongating that spine, back to your forward fold, hands come down. Step back with the opposite foot from what you did the first time through. Step the other foot back. Upward facing dog. Sit leg up behind you and driving it forward back into your lunge position. Step the other foot forward, fix your toe ring. Forward fold, flat back. Forward fold. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Fourteen more of those. Try not to lose your toe ring.
That was 15. But I'm going to do one more because I may have done 16 on the, the other side. But even if I didn't, I know I was doing them on that side when I was demonstrating, so. I'm just gonna do one more just to make sure I'm more or less even on both sides. at least 15. I did 16, but regardless, that's our second set of sun salutations. Those are so exhausting for me. They're invigorating and exhausting at the same time. It's just interesting, you know, when you do workouts like I do, where you're doing a lot of, you know, you're lifting stuff and you're doing plyometrics and you're jumping around and going at a fast pace and doing cardio. Um, you're used to those things, kind of getting your heart rate spiked and, and getting you like breathing heavy and making you just pour sweat from your body. But doing something like this with zero impact and um, we're not moving quickly, you know, we're not jumping around, we're not lifting anything. Um, and it's just a nice, slow, steady flow. But when you are really working those poses, and really focusing on the movement and really controlling your body as you go through that flow. Oh, it, it feels, it's, it's hard, but it feels great at the same time. Um, so I will say that if that's enough for you today, we've been going for over an hour already. So if that's enough for you today, that's fine. That was a great workout. Don't forget to do your bonus burpee. Remember the workout is not officially over until you have done your bonus burpee. So you have just one rep left to go. And then normally I would tell you to take a good 15, 20 minutes to stretch after the workout. I do still recommend taking a few minutes to stretch. However, if ever there was a day <laughs> that you're going to skip your stretching because you didn't have time or you were too exhausted or whatever, this would be the day to do it because obviously um, we stretch the back of our legs a lot. We stretch, uh, we stretch a lot, but I, I would recommend at least taking time to stretch out your shoulders, your arms, your triceps, uh, your quads and your hip flexors and your feet. You don't have to do much. There are like foot stretching routines you can look up, but honestly, when I stretch my feet, I really just pretty much do this for about 60 seconds on each foot. You could also roll a tennis ball, um, but definitely take time to stretch out at least your arms, shoulders, uh, quads, hip flexors, and feet, okay? You can probably skip your hamstrings because we've just stretched those quite a bit. Um, but if you are continuing on with me, we have one more jump rope section to go. So again, let me move my yoga mat out of the way. This would be a good time to towel off. Get your
yourself something to drink. Maybe finish your banana, your other half of a banana. I know not everybody likes bananas, but it's like the best thing you can eat during and after a workout. I usually eat a banana before I go on a hike. Like I, I drive to the hiking trail and in my car right before I leave for the hike, I eat my banana. Um, because as you sweat, your body is losing potassium and it's going to, um, the few times that I cramped up, my foot would cramp up on that hike, it's always a time that I didn't eat a banana beforehand. Every time I do eat my banana, I've never had any issues with cramping. So um, that could be coincidence, but there's a reason that you see tennis players, you know, always chowing down on bananas. It's not because they all happen to love bananas. Uh, it's because, you know, if you're watching like a Grand Slam tournament, you see these matches that go three, four, five hours, sometimes more um, outside in the heat. Obviously, those guys are sweating a ton and um, exerting themselves a lot, we're um, taxing their muscles a lot, and eating bananas, uh, it's the best way to replenish that, plus you're replenishing that uh, there's sugar in bananas, you, you, your body needs sugar, uh, carbs to kind of power you through, but also the potassium is the main thing with bananas, that's why specifically, that's the best thing to eat. That's why they always give out bananas after like, a race, right? At the finish line, that they always have water and bananas. I don't know, I remember being handed a banana. At least one, one or two half marathons, if you get done, they hand you like a half a banana. I'm like, just give me a whole banana. But anyway. I'm gonna talk about bananas. I'm stalling because I know this final jump rope section is going to be torturous. But we're gonna get it done. Um, so if you are continuing on with me, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did for the first jump rope section, 15 sets of 100, so just do your best. If you want to do um, 15 minutes of some other type of cardio exercise, that is fine. But I anticipate this taking me probably a little more than 15 minutes because uh, it's just so hot up here and I am just so fatigued already. Um, it's going to be hard to get my feet up and over this rope, uh, a hundred, wait, how many times? 1500 times, right? So, um, I'm just going to do my best. <sighs> Remember that's all you can do is your best. So do your best and let that be good enough. Your best is always good enough. So if you need a longer rest break so that you can, uh, get shoes on, how off some more if you need your heart rate to come down a little more, if you need your more time for your breathing to regulate, if you need another sip of water or your sports drink, pause the video, come back when you're ready. I'm going to go ahead and get started. The sooner I get started, the sooner this torture will be over with. I'm not looking forward to this. All right, 15 sets of 100 when you're ready. Here we go.
That was my fifth set. So I'm kind of breaking this up into thirds. Obviously taking a nice long break between this fifth and sixth set. I'm going to do my best to get through the next five sets without really stopping. And then I'm gonna need another nice long rest break before I tackle the final five sets. So kind of breaking it up into three little uh, sections of five sets a piece because <sighs> it's so hot and I'm just fatigued and this is a real struggle for me so I'm picking up my count I've completed five sets I'm going to do my best I'm going to zip it and I'm going to do my best to get through the next five sets as quickly as possible and then I'll need another rest break so again go at your own pace if you don't need to stop and rest when I'm resting you should just keep going <sighs> set number six here we go <sighs>
this is actually gonna end up taking me just a little bit more than 90 minutes. <sighs> because there's nothing left in the tank. <sighs> and I need a minute or two to rest <sighs> before I tackle these last five sets of jump rope. So. And take, end up taking me just slightly over 90 minutes, which again is fine. I would have liked to be able to finish these jump rope sections faster, but did I mention it's like 100 degrees out here? Because it's like 100 degrees out here, it's pretty brutal. Two more sets 
I want to push. Just have nothing left. jump rope at long last. Fifteen. Took me just a little over ninety minutes. I'm good with that. Like I said, I wasn't necessarily trying to finish this in under a certain amount of time today. I was definitely in a place today where. I was choosing to take time with my sun salutations. I would have liked to complete my jump rope sections faster, but that's what I had today. So about 90 minutes. We are not quite finished yet. No workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left to go. But first, it is time for the McFlurry Minute. I don't have my timer out here because again, I wasn't really timing this workout. So I have to run inside and grab my timer. I will set my timer to count down 60 seconds for me. I'm going to jump rope for 60 seconds and if I can make it through the entire 60 second work interval without tripping over my jump rope, everybody wins a free make flurry. So give me just a minute to go grab my timer. I will be right back. All right, my timer is set to count down 60 seconds for me. Victoria is ready to go. Victoria is my beautiful silver jump rope with the pretty light pink metallic handles. And for those of you who have asked me where I get my jump ropes, I will leave a link and a coupon code in the description box down below the video. So click on the link and use coupon code RUDEBECCA to save an additional 10%. Now it is Monday today, so that means that normally, instead of the traditional McFlurry Minute where I jump row for 60 seconds, I would be doing a Monday McFlurry Mobility Challenge today, but I forgot to find a mobility challenge and I don't feel like finding one now because that workout was so brutal. It is so hot out here and I just wanna get this done and wrap this up so I can go inside where it's cool. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump rope today. We're gonna to do a regular McFlurry Minute. 
I think we're going for 12 in a row, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that we have completed 11 successful McFlurry minutes in a row. So I think we're going for 12 in a row today, which is getting really, really close to the record. The record is still 14 in a row. So with each successful McFlurry minute, as we get closer and closer to that record, the pressure mounts. So I'm really feeling the pressure today. I'm nervous. I want to keep the streak alive and I want to eat ice cream for lunch today because it's super hot. So I'm going to do my very, very best. Wish us luck. We are starting as always with a 10 second rest interval and hopefully in about a minute from now, we can all head to McDonald's and scarf down some free McFlurries for lunch on this hot, hot summer day. Here we go. our free McFlurries. So let's go ahead and do our bonus burpee together and then the workout will be officially complete. Here we go. Final rep of the day when you're ready. With that, the workout is now officially complete. I really enjoyed this workout a lot. It was Definitely something very different for me, but different is good. Different means that we keep things from getting stale or boring. Different means that we keep challenging ourselves, asking our bodies to do new things, move in different ways. Different means that we're focusing on different strengths and building different strengths. And it means a more well-rounded um, fitness level. Uh, if that makes sense. <laughs> I would probably be able to articulate this thought a lot more clearly if I hadn't just finished this long, tough workout in this 100 degree heat, but hopefully you know what I'm saying. The point is that this workout was very different from what I normally do, but I really liked it a lot. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. And even if you are not doing the workouts with me, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your wonderful and supportive and engaging comments. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And of course, a great big thank you to those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for years. Please know that I appreciate you all so very much. Again, no mobility challenge today, but we will get back to our Monday mobility challenges next week. So if you find any cool mobility challenges that you think I should try, please send them my way. One final reminder that if anything is unclear about the workout today, if anything is unclear about the format, how it all fits together. If you have any questions about the exercises we were doing today, any doubts about how to do them with the correct form, or if you need any help with beginner modifications or equipment-free substitutions, 
I am right here to help. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions or if you need help of any kind. That is going to do it for today. But before I say goodbye, I have to say one final thank you to those of you who have been watching the videos all the way until the end and commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I say goodbye, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is, no matter what hyenas sound like, they are not actually laughing. So if you are still watching this video, hello. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please let me know that someone is still watching by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, no matter what hyenas sound like, they are not actually laughing. That is gonna do it for today, and I will see you all next time. Bye.